Good afternoon from Sugarland, Texas. My name's Carl, and today we're filming a 1966 Pontiac Star Chief Executive. This car is beautiful, 47,000 miles on it. It is 56 years old, so I'm going to show the good, which is most of it, and the not so good. Complete disclosure. Anyway, let me get her out in the street in the sunlight, and we'll be right back. A beautiful day here in Sugarland, Texas, showing this beautiful 1966 Pontiac Star Chief Executive. We're going to have three sections. This one, a walk around, everything closed. Next section, everything open, motor running. Last section, cold start and test drive. Pontiac Star Chiefs were built from 53 to 66. This is the final year. In the last year, they named it the Executive, very unique. This car has 47,000 original miles, evident by how clean it is. It's amazing how clean the interior is. You'll see that in the next video. As I said earlier, I'm going to show the good, which you can see here. And there's some not so good that may need some attention. First, not so good is the front bumper could use a re-chroming. Also, the back quarter panel was in an accident. Don't know much about it. When I bought the car, it was not disclosed. But you can see some of the bodywork. It's straight, but the paint uh, didn't do a real good job. Other than that, the car is in exceptionally well shape for being as old as it is. Everything works as it should, lights, signals, radio. Well, one thing doesn't, the clock. Other than that, everything mechanical and electrical and hydraulic runs and functions perfect okay i now got to get everything opened up ready for the next section this section of the video everything open and motor running a 389 two barrel carburetor this guy runs really good. As you can see, no power steering, no power brakes, or air conditioning. A critic advised me to turn the motor off during the rest of this section of the video because it became a little distracting. So, I will do that now. Motor is now off and a little quieter. As I said, no AC that can be added. Vintage air costs around getting honks from admirers. Vintage air can be had for around $2,000. It is DIY if you're inclined, but otherwise you're gonna have to pay somebody to do it. Uh, also, with power steering can be added. I researched electrical power steering. It's a pretty cool concept that's used on all new cars. It is a beauty. I love that color. Something turquoise. It is the stock color, is my understanding, because if you look at the door jams, the car had been painted. And if you look at the door jams, they appear not to be painted, and the color matches. The interior is amazing in this car. I mean, the dashboard on this thing, I just find it very appealing. Very well designed, very well laid out in the steering wheel. It's huge. I love it. 
it's big because there's no power steering and it takes some torque to get those wheels turned especially in a three-point turn or parallel parking which i've done jams very clean no rust interesting these are some of the service records where they used to do it whenever something was done they wrote it on this piece of paper and stuff it in this envelope a few minor issues door handle a little booger on it and the front seat seam is coming apart other than that interior is immaculate chrome is in real good shape back seat rear door jams excellent rear door again excellent Rear bumper chrome is excellent shape. A tad bit of rust at the very bottom. The trunk, very clean. Spare tire, original bumper jack. No rust. And the best part about this car, it's a Pontiac. Passenger back door as clean as the driver back door. One other little thing to point out a little hickey do thing on the roof. heater core prior owner leaked it's been replaced did was stained here I did paint it with some carpet paint it looks good So what do y'all think? Should I have kept the motor running or is it good to have it turned off during this part of the video? Leave a comment. That concludes this section. Next section tomorrow morning, cold start and drive test. Good morning. Today we're going to do the cold start test and the test drive. But first, we'd like to show you how solid this car is by opening and closing the doors. It's amazing. It's solid. Perfect close. All four doors the same. Not bad, huh? For a car 56 years old. 
Let's walk around the other side to get in and start this baby up. Now for the cold start. This is a carburetor motor, of course, and when it's cold, it's sat overnight since I started it yesterday for the video. I'll pump it twice, turn the key, starts right up. How about that? When the car is warm, let's say you drive it to the grocery store, then sits for 30 minutes, you come out, you don't pump it. You just turn the key and it starts right up. Let's take this baby for a spin. All the gauges work. You know that the gas gauge, it just, it, it goes down all the time. Can't figure that out. Now this is a non-power steering car. And I'm doing this drive test with just me. It's not too bad. That's why they made these steering wheels so gigantic. So we have some leverage. Anyway, we're off. Rainy day here in Houston. Hopefully we don't get caught. But if we do, guess what? Windshield wipers work. Look at that stop straight. Drum brakes that stop straight. That's almost unheard of. car is so smooth and so quiet. That's the air conditioning. Gotta love it. Look at that. Stopping it straighter than an arrow. One more part of this drive test, I'm going to put it on the freeway, is where this thing really shines. So let me get there. We'll be right back. We're about to jump on the freeway. Puppy is so smooth, like you're on a, a 
180. I mean, look, the steering wheel's not moving at all. I'm barely touching it. Back home, that concludes the driving test. I'm gonna do one more, then we'll conclude the video. I'm gonna turn the motor off and then warm start it. A lot of these older cars have a hard time warm starting because of vapor lock. Off, not gonna to touch the gas starts right up amazing anyway that concludes the video i hope you enjoyed it a 1966 pontiac star chief executive with 47,500 something miles on it hope you enjoyed it stay tuned more automobiles coming bye